everyone, my name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you the upcoming Bring Back My Bars, which will be available starting in July 2018. So, if you check uh, my channel, I have a haul video and all these bars were in the haul so I had to separate them all. Feel free to check out that video. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to go through, I have not smelled a thing, although I have smelled, I think, four bars, you know, four or five just from having them. But I have my glasses on so I can see the scent descriptions. Um, and I've got them in order. I organized them to try to make this go fast. So let's get right into it. The first fragrance is Bamboo Yuzu. Or is it Uzu? I'm not sure. Uh, so it says here, uh, basically it's Bamboo Lotus Flower Uzu and hints of sage. I'm just going to condense the scent descriptions. Now this one I have had before. It's actually in my empties for this month. Um, at first when I warmed it I wasn't sure about how strong it would be but I decided to throw it in my open concept space and it, it really held its own there. So yeah check out my empties video at the end of the month and uh, you'll see uh, hopefully some other bars. So the next one is Banana Berry, which is banana cream layered with strawberries. Again, I'm abbreviating Banana Berry. I love it when the wax is one color and the front is another color. Oh yeah, that is banana. And strawberry. It's, it's good. A good mixture of both. I like that one. Next we have Blackberry Meringue. I've been excited to try this one. I've heard a lot of good things. Blackberry, sugared fig, black plum, and ground spice. Oh man, this one's... I can't get it out. Mmm, smells very sweet. Sweet and soft, but like in a good way. I think it's going to warm well. I love blackberry scents. I am really, really excited to try a blackberry meringue. The next one we have is Bora Bora Blossom, which, uh, let's see here. It says Island Fruits, Orchid, and Violet Leaf. Beautiful uh, color. Wax, not... Gosh, they're in there really well today. Okay, this is a nice floral. I do like florals. Some people don't like florals. I do like that, so that is going to be good. It has some fruits in it you can pick up on a little bit. We have buckleberry, which says it's fresh berries and a crumbly coffee cake. So this is probably going to be along the a bakery line. Oh my gosh, look how dark it is. Beautiful. Look how dark that is. Oh, hello. This is like fall in a in a bar. This is fall in a bar. This is really, really nice. A lot of fall scents always have like pumpkin or cranberry. Um, I'm not really sure. A buckleberry is, a bumbleberry is a mixture of different berries. I'm not sure what a buckleberry is. Anyway, this is really, really nice buckleberry. A little bit more along the fall line so okay the next one we have is business casual I am ha, have actually um, I'm in the process of warming through a bar now I am having a difficult time getting a great scent throw from this oh yeah but it's so good it is so good I th I think they need something like this in the body line and it would be great for men or women um, let me read you the scent notes. It is basically a complex scent, okay? Uh, cardamom, caraway, pepper, fragrant woods, and a powdery wisp of orange blossom. This is nice. Man. This is nice. Um, I'm interested to see uh, how that bar does in compared. The other bar I had, like, what I've been doing is melting through some of my sweaty bars, so anything that has a little bit of sweat, I've been trying to 
get through. I mean, I've, I've been obviously melting through non-sweaty ones too, but I don't have, um, and I would say maybe 5% of my Scentsy Bar collection is sweaty. Yeah, not, not much, so just keep that in mind. Okay, the next one we have is Cherry Clove Chutney. It is basically described as Bing Cherries, Cloves, and Cinnamon. A beautiful color wax. Another really great, oh, oh this, this reminds me of wild cherry with, um, wild black cherry and then add spices to it. Add your cinnamon and clove, warm it up a little bit. Oh, that's so nice. Great, that would be great for like late August, September, that kind of time. Okay, the next one we have is coconut flower, which is tropical blossoms, pineapple, and coconut milk. And this has a feminine floral fragrance. This one's lighter, but good. I find a lot of the bars have pits. I don't know if you can see the pits. Oh yeah, that is gonna be nice. I think this would be good for a bathroom or a bedroom. Very nice. Okay, next, fresh cut daisies. I put it in alphabetical order, but obviously I didn't because I had <laughs> grape granita next. Okay, fresh gra cut grazy daisies, again with the yellow. It basically says it is freshly cut grass, clover, daisies, buttercups, and ivy. So really, not much daisy in the fresh cut daisies. Kind of like grass and daisy and ivy. And yellow is my favorite color. Oh, and the wax is white. I love it, see? Anyway. Okay. This is very, I don't know. This, this reminds me of like some sort of soap I've smelled, but like a nice soap, but it's very, very fresh. Very fresh, almost like a perfumey fresh grass. I don't know, is it the ivy? Anyway, this is nice. Um, a little bit different than what I was expecting, but um, I've been warming beach daisy. Loving the beach daisy. Loving it. Okay, next we have grape granita. I have not smelled this, but it seems like a popular one. Grape granita. It is basically a grape, a pineapple, and honeysuckle. I love honeysuckle. Pineapple I struggle with, but it's not because I don't like it. This is like grape chapstick. <laughs> it's good though. I think the bars are having a hard time coming out because they were in the bag with the ice packs. It's, yeah, it's somewhat cold, but not really. Anyway, I try not to rub the, I don't know, I don't do that typically, but. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Probably not my fave, but we will give it a go. I give everything a go. I don't want to shy away. I always want to be able to give feedback when needed. So even if you if something's not right up, you know, your typical alley. Okay, next one is Hemingway, which is apples, sandalwood, cedar, and spice summarized. Nice again. So you know, you see this color wax and I, immediately my brain goes to fall, but we shall see. Oh man, that is more of a perfumey. I do not smell apples. I smell a lot of sandalwood and cedar. And I do not smell spice. I wonder if those will come out when warmed. This is very, to me it's like cologne-y. Mm. Interesting, interesting. So what I think I'm going to do is try to warm through as many bars as I can over the month of July and uh, I probably won't get through a lot but I'll maybe just do, do a summary of what I, my thoughts were on what I did get through just in case somebody needs a, you know a little bit of decision making help on what to order you know before the cutoff. Anyway uh, we have lemon coconut chiffon which is basically lemon custard, a butter cake, and toasted coconut. And we have a kind of like, oh, 
Sorry, wrong bar. Okay, this one's lemon coconut chiffon. And it's yellow. I was thinking, that's weird, it's like lavender color and I realized I have the wrong one. Okay, so lemon coconut chiffon. This reminds me of like a lemon, like, like it says, a lemon cake with, you know, like frosting and I wanted to mention uh, let me see okay you won't be able to see it but when you look right around this area and you look at an angle with your bar um, you will be able to see a date I've noticed this in the recent bars so this one is dated gosh okay May 24th 2018 so I assume that's the day it was poured Anyway, so you can actually look through, you know, your bars. Um, I don't know when they started doing that, maybe in the last summer, but anyway. Okay, next we have, that one's okay. It's, it's light, but, but it, you know, I'm not a huge lemon person, but it's okay. Lemon lavender. I, I'm not a big lemon, lemon. I like lemon. I don't love it. Uh, I'm, lavender is maybe not my thing. So if I say something negative about this factor that in but lemon lavender so this one is uh, lemon and lavender flowers and this is the surprise where it is lavender on the inside oh <laughs> I could not okay excellent example I could not smell anything here at all very strong on the bottom very strong it smells like it smells like a soap. It smells like, I find lemon scents in, in bars often smell soapy um, before you warm them, so keep that in mind. Um, but yes, that is very a great example of how things will not necessarily smell the same on the top of the bar as the bottom. Okay, next we have Lotus Cove, which is basically sea air, lavender, water flowers, and driftwood. And I'm sorry you're looking at my head there, but I just kind of go with the flow with these videos. Don't, don't hold it against me. Mmm, I like this one. It's like, and it has lavender in it. It has sea air, water, flowers, and driftwood. Mm. I, somebody that I know said that they never have ever thrown out a scentsy bar except where they threw threw out Paradise Lotus Cove. So I was really worried about not liking this, but this is nice. I like it. Mmm, I like it. It's like a medium intensity. Very nice. Marshmallow Mint. Marshmallow Mint. It basically is butter mint and marshmallow with amber. Pretty green color. I'm just, oh, soft, but nice. Hmm, that's very like refreshing, but in a, a, a subtle kind of way. Hmm, it's definitely marshmallow and mint together. I get about 50-50, that is nice. Probably wouldn't try that in my open concept space. I don't know if it would hold up, but okay, we better hurry it up here. Sorry, guys. The next one is Sea Sun and Fun. Again, my alphabetical order is not correct. <laughs> we have Salt Water, Orange Twist, Lily Petals, and Amber. It's not that I don't like it, I just don't know how to describe this. It's nice. Um, I feel like it's like a feminine, fresh, feminine, floral, misty, like a little bit of a fresh air, kind of watery scent, but not, yeah, this is nice. I think that'd be nice. I'm interested, to, I'm eager to try that. Sedona Sunset.
Okay, basically this is, okay, a Desert Lily Vanilla Orchid. I should just take these off. Um, coconut Milk and Jasmine. This is nice. Again, lots of pits. Which I think is just air bubbles trapped in the burr. This is nice. It's kind of, it reminds me of like a body line perfume, but what's in it again? Lily, Orchid, Coconut Milk, and Jasmine. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I like that one. Kind of like a medium-ish. What else do we have? We have Silhouette. Heliotrope, Orange Blossoms, Lavender, and Patchouli. It says, in a, it's a modern classic. So here we go, Silhouette. Again, a dark colored burr. I'm gonna have to pop it out. I think what I, I'm just so excited to bring you the videos and I don't have time to let it warm up. And also, um, you know, certain times of the day I can film videos and certain times I just can't. So I, I gotta kinda go make, this one's kinda, very shiny on the bottom, but not oily. Anyway, I find this one's out oh, a little bit lighter. Um, um, this one I almost want to smell again when it's a bit warmer, but um, I do find this is a bit lighter. So, but you know, with some of those scents. Uh, lavender and patchouli, uh, you want to probably have them kind of well balanced. You don't want anything too intense because those might clash a little bit. Okay, here we go guys. A sweet plum pastry. Now I have warmed through a bar of this. It is black plum, toasted coconut, and marshmallow cloud. And it is strong. Strong, strong. Let's see, the date on this is May 30th. So yes, I can read this one a little easier. This is a scent that lasts for days and days and um, I added a vanilla to it. <laughs> Once I thought it was almost dead, I just kind of added vanilla on top of it thinking I'll just change it when I get home. And when I came home, I could smell sweet plum pastry again. So excellent performer, highly recommend that one. I have had experience with that one. Okay, we have six left. We have Marsh Marshmallow Mint, and it is basically, did I say marshmallow? I'm sorry, watermelon mint, excuse me, watermelon mint. Okay, it says sweet watermelon sprinkled with a fresh mint and basically makes a warm summer treat. Nice red. So I, I have had a bar of this and I didn't even warm it. I just treated it with a friend. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. It is, to me, it's very, very light. I'd be interested, I should have warmed the other bar I had, but to me, this is very light. I can't, like I can, I know there's watermelon and I know there's mint, but put together, they smell very different. Um, almost like their own scent. Um, Anyway, I, I'm go sorry, my poor bar, my back, it's, it's still okay. Um, I'm gonna be a good girl and I'm gonna try it out and let you know what I think. Okay, we have White Sands. And this is basically Jasmine, coconut milk and rice. This is a softer one. This is a soft one, but it's very pleasant, but I'd be interested to warm this. I think that I'm gonna warm this in my bedroom and I'm hoping I'm gonna love it. I'm hoping I'm gonna love that one. Okay, next we have Woodland Suede, which is basically red oak, smoky cedar, and musk and winter lemon. 
And this is a very dark color green. So sometimes when you see colors, you think, okay, I'm thinking this is more like a winter fragrance. So what did I say it had? Red oak, smoky cedar, and musk, and winter lemon. But this is nice. I mean, it's... It is not as strong as I was expecting. It's very well balanced. I mean, you don't, nothing's like overpowering. So that, you know, that's probably why it was brought back because it's, it's a nice scent. Okay. Uzu Dragon or Yuzu Dragon. Not sure how you say that. Pretty pinkish color. And Sensi just des describes this one. Basically, I'll summarize here. It's guava, nectarine, uh, dragon fruit, and yuzu. Oh, this one is strong. Hello. Strong. Very fruity and vibrant. It's very, very nice. Wow. That is... It reminds me of... Gosh, it reminds me of something. I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, this one uh, is Zen Garden. And I'm actually in the process of going through a bar of this now. It's basically honeydew, freesia, and water lotus. So this one, um, even with the bar that I have, it's a very light scent, but nice, very, very nice. This is an excellent scent, I think, if you had somebody that was kind of getting into Scentsy and they love a nice gentle background, they don't want something to be like, whoa. Um, just nice and fresh and clean and vibrant, but very like, um, and you know, it, it seemed to last for a while, um, from what I could tell. Uh, I don't have it going anywhere right now. I think I have three cubes left. I'm going to try to finish that bar up uh, for my empties. And the last one is Zephyr. I think that's how you say it. And let's read the description. Okay, we have another lavender. <laughs> French lavender, suede, and rich woods in a sensuous fragrance. I feel like I've got the last uh, one on my nose, sorry. Nice, pretty blue. Yeah, this is this is nice. We have a lot of like, uh, there's a lot of like cologne or, you know, that kind of thing going on in this collection here, I find. But this is nice. I'm trying to put my finger on it's, it's almost like a, uh, to me, like the French lavender, I don't really smell that. I smell more, and I don't smell woods or suede. I feel like it's like a, a salty sea air, fresh oceanic scent. I don't know why I'm getting that. Anyway, it's a beautiful color. So out of all those, um, what are some of my favorites? I think I really, really like, I mean, I know I like bamboo yuzu from using it, but I really liked uh, Buckleberry, I liked Cherry Clove Chutney, I really, really liked that um, Yuzu Dragon or Uzu Dragon. Um, obviously, Sweet Plum Pastry, you gotta go with, with that, so I'm trying to think whether any that I really disliked. Um, may, I wasn't crazy about this one, but maybe it'll, it'll come around. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to warm through these, and I hope you get something useful out of this video. Uh, remember, these are all just my personal opinions, and um, you know, you may agree or disagree, and that's what makes the world go round. We love differing, differing opinions. Um, that's why we have so many different scents to choose from. So let me know what ones you're excited to try, and maybe one, what ones you have picked up, or if you have favorites, or ones that you don't like, let me know. I love to be able to give advice, um, not based on just my experience, but others. So uh, I hope you're having a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.